Thanks for watching. In this quick tutorial of the Roll and Cut Studio, we're going to talk about the Edit menu. And with the Edit menu, there are many um, tools in here that are very common in other programs. Now I have a design that's ready to be cut, and uh, I'm just going to use this as an example of what you can do with the Edit menu. Now in this design, each letter is actually separated. So whenever I select a letter, it will select only that letter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, left click on the F here. We're going to go up to edit on the main menu bar and you can see you have undo and redo and undo and redo are going to undo and redo steps that you take in the software. The next option is called cut. Cut, copy and paste. I'm sure we have um, all are familiar with this and the, the shortcut keys are control X, control C and control V. So if I hit cut, that actually cuts out what I have selected. And then if I want to go to a new design, um, we're going to go ahead and save those changes. And we're going to go to edit and paste. So we could paste it on a new design. So if we just wanted the F, we could certainly copy and paste onto another area. Let's go back and open that Franklin County and we're going to go ahead and paste that back into our screen. So we're going to go to edit and paste. Let's move that back into position and after we have that in position we could then select it and if we wanted to make just a copy of it, not actually cut it out of our design, let's go to edit and copy and then we can go to a new design. Let's go ahead and change the, save those changes and then paste that. So we'll go to edit and paste. So there's our design right there. So we can copy and paste into uh, new designs or let's go back to our preferences. I'm sorry, not our preferences. Let's go back to the Franklin County or we could paste it into the same design. So it is right now on the clipboard so if I go to edit and paste it'll paste another F there. I can take that and I can move it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just hit delete on the keyboard or if we go to edit and delete whatever I have selected will be deleted. Now I'm going to take all of Franklin County just um, I can left click hold and drag a box over everything and we are going to go to object and integrate the polylines. That way it will group everything together. Now what I want to do is I want to I want to cut multiple of these uh, without having to copy and paste and just do it over and over again. So that's where under edit the multiple copy actually comes into play. Um, with multiple copy we do have to keep in mind what the size of our cutting material is and the size of our design. I'm going to go ahead and click on multiple copy and if you can see in here the multiple copy allows me to set how many copies I want horizontally as well as vertically. Um, I can do the spacing, the horizontal spacing that would be the spacing between each set uh, or vertical spacing. So if I've got three across and 25 going tall, I will have 75 cuts that I can make. The spacing will be at a quarter of an inch both horizontally and vertically. So I will go ahead and press OK and when I do that you can now see that I have several uh, on my sheet. So I can go ahead and click fit to screen and you can see all my designs that are copied and pasted multiple times. So with the multiple copy it is great especially for large runs. Now one last thing um, that we're going to talk about is the last option on the edit menu and we were able to select all of our letters um, by left clicking, holding and dragging a box around the letters. Now if I left click off to the side none of my Franklin counties are selected but it, I can left click on every single you know one by itself if I want and remember if you hold shift um, actually holding shift allows you to select only the ones that you want to select so you can select multiple. I'm going to left click off to the side if I'd like to select them all and let's say move them or nudge them over just a little bit, I can go to edit and select all. When I do that it selects everything on my 
uh, design screen and I can you know left click hold and drag and move them all together. If I left click off to the side in the select menu um, it will deselect everything. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial and uh, hope you'll watch our other ones. Thanks.